God damn it. Hello, Connor. Again. Hello, Hank. <laughs> Hi. Jesus Christ. Not well, not exactly. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. You died in my arms. And now you're back here, here. as if nothing happened. Fuck you. <laughs> what does that what saved you? I heard Officer Miller was killed by deviants last night. My condolences, Lieutenant. I didn't know him very well, but he seemed like a good person. He was executed in cold blood with his own service weapon. Just one of father three months ago. One of them was the Fuck one of them was Officer man. Miller. Oh boy. That don't feel good. Oh, it's, um... Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson. It's the lady from Detroit the, the, Police Department. I'm the here uh, main menu. Uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. Hello. You're not wearing any shoes. I'll let Elijah know you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. Sure. Tony Stark. So his hair was blonde and now it's redesigned 2828. Resign, I mean. Inventor of Ethereum and biocomponent technology. Interesting. Oh, it's um, Amanda. Amanda. Yep. Excuse, excuse me, Amanda's dead? Who the hell have I been talking to then? Space tourism under eyes. Uh, fortune teller computer. Unveiled a new quantum supercomputer capable of exaflops. One billion billion operations per school. So, what well, we tested for one, and the results are gonna wow people. Mass extinction. Okay, so basically, he's trying to get computers to predict the future. But then, if you can make thousands of predictions, wouldn't one eventually be right? Space tourism. Ah, uh, well, go explore space. Nice girl. Um, sure. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Um, indifferent. It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. Would you? I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Oh, you can see Hank's face just reset. You're like, mm. So how long are we actually going to be sitting here? Oh. Elijah, we'll see you now. That's good. I 
Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. Interesting. We're out in the middle of nowhere. He drinks? Oh. You're back. It's not a very deep pool. And of course he looks like this. With multiple androids that look the same. Oh, that's not horrifying at all. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. I also love it if you turn the uh, music off. In your house. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Weird, but sure. Um, let's talk about Deviants. Something in the Deviants program seems to emulate emotion. We thought you might know something about how that occurs. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that will be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? What about Whose me? Whose side are you on? Let's be direct. I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Troubled. What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Mean or a living being? With a soul. The second word of art artificial intelligence is intelligence. So, would, would it actually be evolution? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. What? What are you doing? Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Well, I'm intense. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important point. to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. Oh, God. Machine. Oh, God. Or a living being endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. 
No. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, you teleported I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Oh, Connor's being more and more relatable than possible. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Thank you. I guess. Hank thought Connor made the right decision. If I shot, I would have learned more. Oh, goodness. Talk to Hank. Read fortune teller. Analyze 